You don't want to miss this show. There's lots of park news to speak about as we get into the WW Fanzo news and current events edition of the show. I am Stuart Sternberg, joined by Aleth and Darlene Nagy and Jess. And we're going to get right into it with Jess and all the wonderful Disney World news. There is so much park news today. I am very excited to bring it to you. Um, hello, everybody. So um, the, the buzzword around Disney right now is Tron. Everyone's talking about it. Everybody's wondering, you know, what, how to get on it and how to ride it. So it is having a soft opening right now. But uh, if you do not have a park pass for Magic, Magic Kingdom right now for the next couple weeks, there is a good chance you might not get one. So um do everything you can. Um, maybe you need a um, park ticket, just an individual park ticket or a hotel reservation to get in. But as of right now, annual pass holders are not getting on this week if you do not have a park, pack, park pass right now. So um, hopefully you can get one. Um, but the after the soft opening, that virtual queue is taking up all of those park passes for Magic Kingdom. So um, good luck getting in. Uh, you also do have the opportunity to go after 2 p.m. if you have a park hopper into Magic Kingdom. So um, I do want to warn you, though, there is a good chance you could be turned away as well um, because if the park is too full, there's no luck for you there. So that being said, good luck getting into Magic Kingdom if you do not already have a park, park pass. Um, but Tron is soft opening right now with the virtual queue, which has been um, which has been going on for both Tron and Guardians of the Galaxy, which we talked about last week. Um, so getting into the virtual queue at 7 a.m., 1 p.m., you have to be in the park. And then um, on park on uh, April fourth, which is when the ride officially opens, there is a um, extended evening hours six p.m. virtual queue, and you can check that out for any days that they have the extended evening hours, which I believe are Mondays for Magic Kingdom. Yes, so um, or Wednesday, I think it's Wednesdays usually, right? Yes, it's usually Wednesdays. Yeah. So, yeah. yes. Okay. Anyway, moving on from Tron. Uh, there is, um, there have been questions about Seven Dwarfs Mine Train keeping their individual lightning lane status. Um, and that is the individual paper ride. It would not be included in Genie Plus, but each person would have to pay to just get on that ride for that individual lightning lane. And, um, that is still in place for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So in order to ride that ride, you either get on standby or you need to do individual Lightning Lane, which is like, like $15 per person at this point. Um, so that's how you can get on that ride. Okay, moving on. Um, Blizzard Beach was supposed to open yesterday. And because of the cold temperatures, it did not open yesterday or today. Um, so tomorrow is the official, um, I'm sorry, tomorrow, Tuesday, March 21st is the official opening day for Blizzard Beach. The temperatures are expected to get, um, a little bit warmer. So, um, it will be a more comfortable day to attend Blizzard Beach. So very exciting for that. I believe Typhoon Lagoon has closed though. So, um, you will not be able to get into Typhoon Lagoon until it opens up again. Hopefully this summer when both of them are open, because that would be awesome. There are some new character meet and greets coming up in the next couple months uh, throughout the rest of the year. Very exciting to announce that Mirabelle from Encanto will be in Fantasyland this fall in Magic Kingdom. And she will take the place of where Merida was, um, right around where the, the um, Mad Tea Party um, is. So that will be transformed from Merida's to um, the Casita from Encanto. So it is very exciting. 
announcements. I'm excited to see what kind of crazy things are going to happen over there. Very, very exciting. My kids are going to love that. Um, let's see. Oh, and um, Figment will be in Epcot this summer. And that will be um, the imagination area over there. So um, check out that this summer. And then a Mickey and Minnie meet and greet in their 100th anniversary platinum outfits, which is super cute. Um, they will be in the Communicore Hall. And that is um, what will be a, the space for like the, the festivals in Etchcott. So awesome meet, meet and greets coming up this year. And then um, Moana's Journey of Water has a approximate opening date, which is fall 2023. So uh, I believe that is sooner than expected. I kind of remember mm -hmm. hearing 2024, but um, but now we're saying fall 2023, which you, if you, know, you go if you go on the monorail, you'll kind of see the development of uh, the monorail in Epcot. You'll kind of see the development and it's, it's coming along. Um, even though the area around it doesn't look like it's coming along. Um, but that area, the Moana um, journey of water really looks like it's, it's starting to um, get ready to open. So very exciting there. Also in Epcot, uh, Mickey is getting a platinum statue uh, for the hundredth anniversary of Disney. So that is super exciting. Um, and then the fireworks show, um, in early April, April, the, um, the show that's going on right now, um, harmonious that will be no longer in early April and we will be getting Epcot forever coming back, but that is also very, that is also temporary. So they will be getting a new show celebrating the 100th anniversary. Um, so that will be later this year. All right. So now moving on to animal kingdom, um, they are celebrating the 25th anniversary of animal kingdom on April 22nd, uh, which is also earth day. So there will be some fun offerings that you'll get to see some new um, merchandise and all that stuff. So that's very exciting. Um, Moana is also coming to Animal Kingdom on April 22nd, uh, but it is not clear if she'll be on a float or as a meet and greet. So we'll have to check out for news coming from that. And one more thing. Um, if you remember in Epcot, there are those um, little magic shots and it's like a 360 picture with like um, something in the back background. There's one in Epcot currently, uh, but the tiny world shot is coming to Magic Kingdom as well. So um, it's really cool that like you see yourself kind of in a circle and then there's the castle right in the back there and it's nice and big, but it's really cool. Um, you should see the, the pictures to check that out. But that's also um, one of the things that would go on your, um, your, your photo pass. So that's super cool. Exciting things happening in the parks. And I hope everyone gets a chance to see all of them when they start popping up. And that's all I have today. All right. Thank you, Jess. That's a lot and a lot of good stuff there, too. All right, Darlene. Hello, everyone. I'm going to try to go as quick as I can. Um, so we've got some really great news. Um, Disney's World Resorts have announced everything um, that's coming for treats and food for Easter. Um, so it's kind of early that they're putting this out. Um, so let's get started. Um, Disney's All-Star Movies, Music, Sports Resorts will have available April 1st to the 30th at their quick service um, locations, a thumper carrot cake. Um, and these, a lot of this stuff is going to be mobile order available, which is great. So you don't have to wait in a line. You can just mobile order from your Disney, my Disney experience app. Um, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge at the Mara will have a carrot cake cheesecake April 1st to the 9th. Uh, Disney's um, Art of Animation and Pop Century, April 1st to the 30th, a coconut sugar um, bunny cupcake. Disney's Beach Club Resort, 
um, at the marketplace from March 20th, which already started to April 9th, a carrot garden fudge, an orange vanilla bunny tart, and an Easter chocolate Donald egg and daisy um, egg will be available. Beaches and Cream Soda Shop, April 1st to the 30th, will serve a carrot cake milkshake, which sounds delightful. Um, Disney's Boardwalk and Carousel Coffee, the 1st to the 8th, will have a coconut macaroon nest, a chocolate-covered strawberry carrot, and an Italian Easter sweet bread. Uh, Disney's Caribbean Beach, the 1st to the 30th of April, will have a spring treat box, which will include a carrot cake with cream cheese icing, a mini brownie, lemon shortbread cookies, and chocolate dipped strawberries. Disney's Contemporary Resort at the Contempo, now through the 9th, will have a spring bunny tart, a spring coconut macaroons, uh, peanut butter eggs, hummingbird cake, and five-legged goat cookie. Um, at... Steakhouse 71 on the 9th only of April, which is Easter. If you have a reservation for dining, the brunch is going to have um, Floridian Eggs Benedict, bacon and eggs, and, ex and the exclusive brunch is going to have hummingbird bread pudding featuring pineapple banana coconut bread. Uh, pudding with candied pecan, salted caramel, and um, cream cheese ice cream. Sounds delicious. I'm having Easter, so I will not be at a brunch on Disney property. I'll be doing it at my house. <laughs> and saving a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Disney's Coronado um, will have at the Barcelona Lounge a bunny ear cupcake, uh, the 1st to the 9th. Then they'll have a Bird of Paradise refresher. Um, this is a non-alcoholic, and that'll be available from the 1st to the 31st. Three Bridges Bar and Grill, the 1st to May, uh, April 1st to May 31st, will have a Botanical Blossom Sangria. That, of course, is a alcoholic drink, just so you know. Um, and then Disney's Grand Floridian Resort, Gasparilla's Island Grill, um, through the 9th, we'll have cream cheese carrot coffee cake, vanilla bring cupcake sampler. So that'll have a few different types of um, cupcakes in that, four of them. Uh, the Grand Cottage at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa through the 9th, we'll have back for the second year, the Grand Cottage featuring 15 treats handcrafted by the talented um, Grand Floridian Resort and Spa Bakery. So that'd be very nice. They'll have um, a lemon blueberry whoopie pie, confetti pop, a uh, plant-based bunny burrow dirt cup. Uh, then next at Old Key West and Saratoga Springs, they're going to have a carrot cake um, with cream cheese icing, the Polynesian, Pineapple and I is going to have an Easter soft serve. That's going to be pink vanilla soft serve with toasted marshmallow flavors topped with Easter sprinkles. Um, Disney's Port Orleans, Saska, Saska Jula Float Works and Food Factory will have a carrot patch cupcake. Disney Riviera, uh, La Petite Cafe, the first to the ninth golden egg they'll have. Uh, Topolino's Terrace is going to have a Torta di um, Corrado, which is an Italian carrot cake with mascarpone cheese, which is delicious. Um, Disney's Wilderness Roaring Forks will have a chocolate bunny and a bunny cupcake. And then Geyser Point's going to have a spring margarita. Uh, let me see see here that's going to be available all the way through may 31st so that'd be nice to have that disney's yacht club market ale and compass march 20th to the 9th carrot garden um fudge orange vanilla bunny tart and an easter chocolate donald egg and a daisy egg um and available at a number of the uh, disney resorts that are 
Um, and the are going to be okay. Yeah, springtime um, fling is going to have a chocolate cupcake and vin with the vanilla cream. Then the world premium food court at most of the value resorts and the moderates that will also be there. Available at various table service restaurants and lounges um, through the 1st and the 31st is a blood orange martini. Um, Disney Springs Amarat's Patisserie is going to have an Easter petite cake. The Ganachery is going to have a bunny mini chocolate um, pinata and an Easter ganache pop. Milk chocolate marshmallows and chocolate surprise bunny. Hmm, chocolate surprise bunny. Hmm. Don't know if I want to know what's in that bunny. <laughs> Swirls of Water is going to have an Easter basket nacho, not which is Dole Whip raspberry, cotton candy soft serve, jelly beans, raspberry sauce, strawberry um, boba with whipped cream and waffle chips. I've had one of their Dole nacho things before, um, and they are very good. They're also going to have a cotton candy cone. Um, so I, I got to try that. Disney's Vero Beach is going to have um, stuff uh, on the 9th only, which is an Easter brunch. Disneyland Resort is also going to be putting on different um, foods and stuff and candies. Uh, they got at the Candy Palace Easter eggs, bunny cake, uh, bunny crisp rice crispy, which nobody in the world is having a rice crispy treat, which I found weird when I was reading this and a strawberry Mickey wand that sounds really good, which I think kids would, the girls would love a strawberry Mickey wand, you know? Um, and a special at Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe, which I think we went to Stuart only on April 9th, they're going to have a tuna fish, uh, a tuna sandwich with chips. California Adventure is going to have fish and chips at the Smoke and Jumpers Grill. The trolley carts are going to have bunny pops and the bunny crispy and the strawberry wand. The Disney Californian um, is going to have at the GCH Craftsman Mickey Mouse shaped Easter donut and a bunny cupcake. They're also going to have that other stuff that I mentioned and they're throwing in, though, a carrot cake loaf, a Easter cookie treat box, and a waffle cookie shot, which is for adults only um, if you want the alcohol. But they're going to have shots of milk, low-fat milk, chocolate milk, and strawberry milk. Storytellers Cafe on the 9th only, they're going to have an Easter brunch. And Disneyland Hotel Goofy's Kitchen is also going to have a brunch and a dinner on Easter. Okay, now for merchandise. Celebrate the golden era of animation with Disney 100, the decades, the 1930s. So these items are a one, two, three, one, two, three. Places, please. The maestro is ready to start the show as you waltz in style with the new Mickey Mouse, the band concert lounge fly mini backpack. Um, it was released in February of 1923, the band concert, which was the first Mickey Mouse cartoon in premier color. So it's, that's like really, it's a really nice bag. Um, the next thing is the Fiddler Pig, Pfeiffer Pig, and Practical Pig. They're going to be a plush set. So uh, that one came out. They're silly. They were in the Silly Symphonies, the Three Little Pigs, um, and they won the award Academy Award for a winning short in May twenty seventh, nineteen thirty three. So who would have thought? Um, and then calling all pin traders, Clarabelle Cow and Horace, Horace Collar pin set is going to be released. So there you go for those things. Now, I also think I've already talked about these, but this is part of the collection. And I think I said I already seen them out was the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs Starry Art um, 
ears. So those are coming. Those will be out for a while. Um, she was the first princess, you know, so I'm really happy and excited about that. Um, now let's go to April 3rd. We're going to jump a little bit to there. Um, so you guys are aware that the firework dessert parties and uh, Disney packages are going to be renamed. So make sure you, when you go in and I'm, I'm sure somebody will help you, but you really want to have the right names. Um, so the magic fireworks party is going to be a pre-party. That's going to be um, able to be booked starting um, March 23rd. And the prices are going to be for that one, $99 for adults, $59 for children. The seats and suites party is going to be 114 for adults, 69 for children. And the post party, which is going to be $99 for adults and 59 for children. Um, at the dessert party, you're going to be served chocolate silk tarts, chocolate dipped strawberries, cheese, and beverages like wine, beer. Those who are old enough um, can get those. Um, then another option is to do a fireworks dining package at the Contemporary. Um, and that's going to start on April 3rd. And it's going to be the celebration at the top with Sip, Savor, and Sparkle. That's that experience. Also, celebration there is going to be at California Grill uh, beginning on the 8th. And that's going to be uh, Top Sushi. Um, Epcot. Uh, we'll have Rose and Crown and Spice Road uh, table. And that's going to start on April 3rd. The sit down options are going to be Rose and Crown, $89 for adults, $39 for children. Spice Row is going to be $72 for adults, $31 for children. And that's my news for today. All right. Thank you, Darlene. <laughs> I think I tried getting that in as fast as I could. Yeah, you did all right. Okay, I don't have much, so, you know, rest assured, I'll be done momentarily with my news. Uh, guests staying at any of Disneyland's three resorts can now partake in a new sunrise yoga workout. And this experience is going to be for either Disneyland or the California Adventure Park. Each class comes with a fitness towel, light snacks, a bottle of water, and a Disney Photo Pass digital photo download. Guess we'll also be provided with a yoga mat, but not to keep. Uh, and my other news note was Lance Reddick, Reddick, the actor who was cast as Zeus for the Disney Plus series Percy Jackson, has passed away at the age of 60. So our condolences go out to his family and friends on that. And that is all the news I have this week. There wasn't much. Oh, yeah, there is one more thing I want to mention. Um Disney Plus has come out with whatever new shows and movies and series are coming in April. So you may want to check the website to see what you can what you can view this month, this coming month. All right. Um, Darlene, park hours. Okay. Um, first, I did want to say, I did, if you remember correctly, when we were out there in 2017. 17? 17, yeah. The wow. Disney Vacation Club did test the waters with the yoga in the park in the morning. I did it one morning when we were there. So mm -hmm. I just remember that while you were talking about mm -hmm. it again, and it, it reminded yeah, it me is. about the mats and stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, and that's where I got my one towel from. <laughs> they did give you a towel with it. Um, so, and if you're thinking of moving down to Florida um, and into the central Florida area, please go to DisneyAtYourDoorstep.com and contact our realtor, mine and Stewart's, uh, Victor Naraki. Uh, he'll help you find your home here. Um, so park hours. So Magic Kingdom, Wednesday, March 22nd, will be from 9 a.m. to 11, and then 11 to 1 with a extended hours. And then on Thursday, we're going to have a special ticket event. So it's going to be 9 to 11 and then 10 to 1. 
And then Friday is going to be 9 to 11, Saturday 9 to 11, Sunday 9 to 11, and then a ticketed event on Monday from 8 to 10 and then 10 to 1. And then Tuesday will be 9 to 11. At comp the whole week um, from Wednesday to Sunday is going to be 9 to 9. Then they're going to have extended hours from 9 to 9 and then 9 to 11 p.m. with Tuesday 9 to 9. Hollywood Studios is going to have a special ticketed event tomorrow. So their park hours are going to be 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. and then 9.30 to 12.30 a.m. Then Thursday through Tuesday, 8.30 to 9.30. Disney's Animal Kingdom all week will be 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So I, 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 they haven't updated their schedule. As of right now, the Typhoon Lagoon is going to be open this week, the whole week, no park hours. <laughs> um, and it's 10 to 6 p.m., except for Monday and Tuesdays, 10 to 5. That's on Disney's website when I checked. Wait, no park hours or 10 to 6? 10 to, for Typhoon Lagoon, they right. have 10 to 6, Wednesday through Sunday, and right. Monday and Tuesday are 10 to 5. And Blizzard Beach is closed. Right. Well, that they announced that some time ago that when they opened, which was surprised me actually, that when they opened Blizzard, um, sorry, Typhoon Lagoon, that Blizzard Beach would be closed, and they didn't say when it would reopen. I think we're all hoping it'll reopen before the summer's over, mm -hmm. but we don't know. Yeah. So we don't know. Um, and they're going back and forth with the hours for some reason. The month of April looks like all of Typhoon Lagoon will be 10 to 6. With the cha time change, I would think that they would extend the hours, possibly even to 7 p.m. for Because that's what I remember it being in the past. They also have those after hours, uh, the after mm -hmm. hour party that's going to be there as well. So I think those are on Saturdays, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, I don't know what day of the week they are, but I think they start at 7, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. But they usually let them in an hour or so before the park closes. So we'll see what they do at the yeah. end. Um, so then the boardwalk will be 6.30 to 10 p.m. And Disney Springs, Wednesday, Thursday, will be 10 to 11 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. And Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, 10 to 11 p.m. All right. Thank you, Darlene. Yeah. Um, park hours at Disney World is not just like a simple thing, you know, like just look it up and see. You know, you have to check each day because they do change. They do. And that if somebody comes and says, we want to run out the park, somebody, you know, famous, they might even close the park <laughs> oh. you know, early that day. Speaking of famous people, if you're going to Disney World this week, yes. uh, there's, I forgot what they're doing. There, there's something they're doing. It's some kind of academic thing they're doing that usually brings in some stars. So they said to be on the lookout that you might actually get to see a couple of stars here and there. Walking around. In the parks. And now if you see that a ride all of a sudden an attraction closes down, that could be the reason to go. <laughs> True. So, so just, you know, if you're going to be in the parks, keep your eye out for the stars. They may be there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Um, speaking of stars, I think they're stars, and that's Mass Fan Travel. You know, we all use mouse fan travel. And there's a reason we all use mouse fan travel because we've tried others. And you know, they simply just aren't up to par with mouse fan travel when it comes to customer service, knowing that product, then the product being Disney and the entire travel industry. So whenever you want to go on a vacation, who better than mouse fan travel? And the answer to that is nobody's better than mouse fan travel. We put our hands in mouse fan travel's um, trust. And there's a good reason for it. And I wouldn't recommend them if they weren't what I think is the best travel service industry, tra travel service provider in the industry today. And you can find out more information about them and all their great vacations, not just Disney. They can do other things for you as well by going to www.massfantravel.com. That is www.massfantravel.com. And in the weather today, uh, not today, this week, um, well, it's going to start, tomorrow's going to be in the seven, upper 70s, but then we take a turn to summer again here in Florida, as the weather will be in the mid to upper 80s for the rest of the week or the rest of, rest of this next seven-day period, with lows in the mid to upper 60s. So 
some nice weather coming in here in Florida. And there's one more thing I want to mention before we get out of here. And what is that? Oh, yeah. This day in Disney history. Did you know it was on March 20th, 2019, that Disney closed the deal to purchase 21st Century Fox at 12.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The library films acquired by Disney included The Sound of Music, Home Alone, and one of my favorite all-time movies, Mel Brooks' Young Frankenstein. All right, that is going to do it for us this week. We will be back later in the week with another regular edition of the show. Just a reminder, a couple of reminders here. If you haven't done so yet, it helps us out. It helps us reach more people. Please like and subscribe to the show, no matter where you listen or, or view it, whether it's on YouTube or on Apple Podcasts or iHeartRadio or any other place. We would greatly appreciate that. And also, come April, next week is going to be our last separate show. Well, not last forever, but for now, the last separate news show, as we're going to combine the two shows into one. Uh, so we'll only be recording once a week, and that's like I said before, for selfish reasons. So Darlene and I, not, not necessarily together, but and Jess, um, have can go to the parks more because Darlene and I do two shows a week, and so that's two nights we wouldn't be able to go to the parks since April 18th. We are allowed to go in without a reservation after 2 right. p.m. So it, it was just a way to free up a little time in case we decide, yeah, you know, tonight's a nice night. I feel like going to the parks or there's a show there I want to see, something. So that, that's the reason for us combining the two shows. But if there is a lot of news one week or something's breaking, we certainly will do a separate show or maybe a video. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll get into that as April and May roll around and the year goes on. All right. That is going to do it for us this week. We're out of here. Everybody, be safe. Oh, join us later in the week for a regular show. Be safe. Bye-bye. See you real soon. Have a magical night. Stay safe and pack your sunscreen. <laughs>